Hi there. So how to make your low poly art shine? Please don't skip, as there will be a lot of important information. So let's dive into it. Avoid standard shapes. What is the character of this square? It's pretty neutral, it doesn't bring many associations. But these shapes look much more interesting. Smoother one could be a base for a bakery, while a sharp one looks more like an evil wizard tower. Also don't be afraid to combine few shapes into one. To dive deeper in this topic you can learn shape language, this will bring your art to another level no matter what style you are working in. But low poly is especially sensitive to it as you are free to hyperbolize these deformations. Here you can see what I've done with the example. Watch your topology. For artificial objects like weapons and buildings it should be okay, as usual. But for natural objects like foliage, rocks etc remember, chaos is your best friend. Such objects look much more believable and interesting with a nightmare triangulated topology. Avoid a lot of bright colors, especially in natural scenes. If you are not familiar with color theory and how to combine colors, I highly recommend learning its basics. This will boost your art level as well. Low poly style is sensitive to this aspect as well, cause there are only colors, or at least very minimalistic textures. But if you don't want to learn it, just try to desaturate colors a bit and shift hue a bit away from pure ones, red green blue, and keep your accents bright, but pay attention that this is a very cheap trick that won't always work. Here's what I've done with the example. Colors look too dirty now, but they work nice on the final result. Add some details. Yeah it's low poly, but this style also requires some details, just not as many as other styles. Add some foliage, beams, decorations, miscellaneous objects. It's completely up to you and your scene, just bring some life into it. Here's what I've added to the example. Improve your composition. Try to find some interesting camera angle, find a point of interest in your artwork and make an accent to it, place your objects to look good together. I recommend learning this topic as well, as it will also boost your art level. Add some effects. The easiest and fastest way is to improve rendering quality with a better render engine or settings and adding some effects. Use cycles instead of EV. Yep, if you are not a master of EV. Use complex materials where they are needed. Absolutely. Add some bloom and god rays. Yes god, please yes, yes. Ambient occlusion and depth of field. Sure, why not? I guess you got me. And after you get a nice scene you can polish it with some post-processing. Edit your render in Photoshop or apply a LUT for Unreal Engine location. This is a creative process and I'm sure that with knowledge of color theory and composition you'll know what to do. As always, good luck with your art.